part eight of the Sunshine Kisses and Fairy Wishes crochet along is called Sunflower Fields. It's a section contributed by the lovely Peggy, another one of our testers. So as soon as you're ready, we'll get started. So for row one, we need to be on the wrong side, please. So make sure you flip the work and we'll be joining up over here. Now, it's a good thing if you're continuing your yarn because you do not have to worry about rejoining. You will already be on this side. So you probably just need to make a chain one so you can turn. Now, I need to join in the first stitch, which is my last single crochet from the previous row. That's my knot right on the end there. That's the stitch. So I need to go into that stitch, not into the knot, and make a single crochet and a single crochet all the way down. So nice easy start. One single crochet all the way down from the wrong side please. I know in the previous section we started on the right side and then we also started ATM on the right side but for this section you need to start on the wrong side. Alright, I'll let you finish up, get yourself all the way to the end, make sure you get into your final stitch over here do yourself a favor and do a quick stitch count if you haven't already and make sure you've still got your 216 stitches or whatever you combination you started with. All right, and then we'll get back together for row two. And I might suggest to take a minute and just read through the prelude on this star stitch. We're going to be making star stitches in this section. I want you to just, just get some of that jargon and the visual into your head. We'll start with a starting star stitch and then we'll continue with the normal star stitch. Have a read through so that when we do it, some of it will just feel familiar to you. All right, back in a while. Row two, now at the end of row one, you can see here I finished and then I made three chains. Okay, then we turn and now we're going to make a starting star stitch. Now that begins by picking up a loop in the sec from the second chain, that's the middle of the three. Pick, go into that and pick up a loop and now we have two loops. Now we're going to go into the first chain that we made which is the last one here and pull up another loop. Don't be too tight with these loops. It might take a bit of practice to see what exact tension you're going to need but let's just make one to begin with. So we've got three loops on the hook by going into the second and third chain from the hook. Now we're going to pick up a loop from the stitch the chain comes out of. There's the chain, there's the stitch. Right, so go into the stitch and pull up a fourth loop. One, two, three, four now. Now we're going to the next stitch, the second stitch of the side. Pull up a loop, that gives us five. And then again into the third stitch, pull up a loop. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six loops, all in a pretty row. Now to make the star, we just yarn over and pull through all of them. Like that. And then we chain one to close. And that, dear friends, is a starting star stitch. It has a very neat edge as well because we use that chain. So you need to have a nice edge here. Okay, so that's the starting star stitch. Take a minute, practice a little bit if you need to. Look at it on the, put it down on the table and have a look and make sure it is nice and straight. Next up, we are going to make the regular star stitch. Now that begins in what's called the eye of the star. The eye of the star is this chain one that we did right there. I've just opened it up so you can see it. It's that loop in there that holds all the loops of the star stitch. That's the eye of the star. That's, oops, that's where I need you to be. So we start by picking up a loop in there and pull it up. Now we're going to go between, in between these two spikes, I guess, of the star and pick up another loop, like that. Then we're going into the actual stitch that last loop was in and pick up another loop. Now we've got four. Now we go to the next stitch and pick up a loop and again into the next stitch and pick up another loop. So again, we've got six loops. Then we yarn over and pull through all of them and then we chain one to close to create the next eye. Right, again, pick up a loop from the eye, go down between these 
these loops down here and pick up another loop into the final stitch that you used for the previous star and pick up another loop and then a loop from each of the next two stitches yarn over pull through all and chain one to close that's all it is so you're basically stacking your stars side on the next row, row 3, will actually put some more stitch work in there and it will close off the star shape for us. But for now, we're building the largest component of the star. So let's do it again. Pick up a loop out of the eye made by the chain 1. Pick up a loop from that final loop of the previous star. Pick up a loop from the stitch the previous star finished in. And then pick up a loop from each of the next two stitches. Pull through all and chain one to close. Now you must be careful here stop and check don't be too tight okay so if there's no stretch here and or if your work is pulling in you need to pull them out try again so just do a few and see how you're going tension is everything here so start again pick up a loop in the eye pick up a loop from the spike there Pick up a loop from the stitch that one was in. Pick up a loop from the next two stitches. You should always have a total of six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all of them. Chain one to close. Okay. Give it a bit of a stretch. You get plenty of stretch there. Again, and I'll just show you something a little bit different this time. Pick up a loop from the eye. Now, normally, and I've been picking up just this front loop. If you want, you can also pick up these two loops, the front and back loop of this, that one that we pulled up. But you don't have to. I'm just saying it's another alternative. I'm happy to just grab that top front loop from that previous stitch. Then loop from where the stitch finished and pick up a loop from the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through all, chain one to close and check your tension again. Okay. Going to do that all the way down when you get to the other end your final stitch will finish in the second last stitch the final pull up a loop will happen here then you close off the star with the chain one and you're going to put a final double crochet in this last stitch so let's all get down to here and we'll finish up together so I'm nearly at the end I'm just going to do the last few three we're picking up a loop five times. I've just mumbled under my breath. I'm counting to five. Two, three, four, and five. Pull through all and chain one. And that leaves me one final stitch where my knot is where I started the previous round. And in that one, just a double crochet. And nothing else. Just like that. And then put it down and take a good look at it plenty of stretch in mine so I think the trick is to make sure that top loop that very first loop you pull up from the eye is not cinching right down keep that relatively loose and then the rest just follow isn't that beautiful I love star stitch right the last thing you do when you're finished is chain one and turn and uh, I'll get together with you again for the next row see you in a bit Row 3. Now this is the row that completes the star pattern. So that's what it says in the note. But first, once you've finished, I just want you to quickly go back and take stock. I want you to be able to locate the eye of each stitch. It's just a little hole right there. Okay. Make sure you know where the eye is. Because we're going to be looking at it from reverse now and we're going to use the eye. Let me put things down. So the first thing we need to do is put a single crochet in the same stitch that we finished in, which is here where my chain one is. So just a single crochet in there. All right. And now we are going to go all the way down and we're going to put two single crochet in every eye. And looking from behind, that's the eye there. That's the top of the, the, the pull through. And we did the pull through all six. That's that. This is the chain and that's the eye underneath it. So there's your eye. And if you can't figure out where to look, see these loops that are going diagonal? They meet together up here. That's the eye. Let me zoom in a bit. OK. 
Okay, let's have a look at that. So you can see the loops from the star here and they come together right where the eye is. Remember we then did a chain one to close and we cinched all those loops. So that's what you're looking for. Lefties yours will be going the other way. Right handed handers, your loops are heading to the right. So that, oopsie, is the eye. See how they all travel in the same direction towards that chain one. That's what you're looking for. Okay, when you flip it, you need to be looking for that. So we don't want our stitches going into the top of the star. We want the stitches going where the loops combined here. Okay, I won't belabor that any further. Let's continue. Let me just tidy up. So, the next instruction is two single crochet in the eye of each star across. And then you'll put a single crochet in the last stitch, which is the top of the chain three. So let's get there. Here's my, my eye, two single crochet straight into there. Move over to the next slot of stitches combining down in here. One, two. Just two in every single one. Over here to the next eye. One and two. Nice and easy. Next eye, looking for my diagonal loops. There. Next eye, one and two. I think I put two, yes I did. And moving over to the next one, all the way down. When you get to the other end, you will work into the final eye. You can see it. When I pull the stitches wide open, you can see it. Right there. Two single crochet in there. And then we have to, I'm going to turn this over for a second. You remember we had a chain three here to use. It's going to be a bit hard to see, but there's one, two, that's the third chain. And we started out take pulling up loops in the second one. So the first chain up here, the top one, is still free. It's unused. But we're going to use that on the reverse to put our final single crochet into. So there's the eye, right? And there's the chain. That's not the chain. That's the top of the star stitch. You see that? So the last single crochet goes into here, into this chain, not into the top of the star stitch because then your stitch will be offset a bit and it won't be straight up. You need to get in to the top of the chain three, which is right there. Let me turn it again. See the difference? Not into there, into the top of the chain. Right, let me get down there and we'll do it together anyway. I'll be back in a minute. Here I am. Here's my last eye. I've put two single crochet into every other one. Two more into the last eye right there. And now one single crochet into the top. It might be a bit hard of my chain three from the previous row. And it goes right on the edge like that, perfectly. So when we're finished now, we're going to start the next row of star stitches. So we need another chain three before we turn. And we're going to do, do it again. So when you turn over, you have these beautiful little stars. Okay, once you finish that, we'll reconvene for row four. Okay, row four. Now, I'm actually not going to show you anymore. We're up to row four, but row four to row nine are just repeats. So four and five are, are a repeat of two and three. You know, six and seven are a repeat of two and three. Eight and nine are a repeat of two and three. So basically, this is your repeat. Row two, which is the star stitch, and row three, which was the single crochet coming back down the line. Every time you get to the end of the single crochet, you have to do a chain three to go up. You will finish with a row three. Row nine is a row three, which is just the single crochet. So you can rewind the, the video and watch the whole first two. Not this one. This was just the setup. Row two is your star stitch and row three is your single crochets that went two at a time into the eye of every star. So I don't really need to show you everything again, but I just want to remind you when you're looking at your stitch counts, 
it says two double crochet and if you look at the notes up ahead at the beginning it says that this chain three serves two purposes one it's part of your double first double crochet but it is also where we start the starting star stitch okay so when the count says there are two double crochet it means that there's one here this is the chain three here and there's one at the other end when you finish all of your star stitches and you put that final double crochet in at the end I've got a bit of fluff here all right so I'm going to leave you to it you're going to end up with three sets of star stitches three beautiful sets of star stitches now you can do this any which way you like you can use one solid color or you can change a color now if you change a color and you're starting here with the star stitches in a new color you need to join and make a chain three so that you can get into the chains okay um, you can probably do it with the starting stitch as well or a standing double crochet but what you have to remember is you need to pull up two loops from however you start at this end we're using the second and third chain or the first and second depending on which way you look at it but if you've got anything else here, if you've got a, one of those starting stitches with the two singles stacked on top of each other or if you do a standing stitch then you're going to have to pick up two loops out of there and then still remember to pick up a loop from wherever that stitch went in and then two more from the next two stitches okay so it's up to you I'm going to let you have a bit of a play your biggest issue is going to be tension and making sure that your your closing chain that creates the eye isn't too tight and also that first loop you pick up from the eye is not too tight all right so I'll leave you with that um, and hopefully you can manage if you can't manage please pop into the group and ask some questions but I, I think it's a pretty straight it's a beautifully complicated looking stitch but it really isn't that difficult one final comment I know many people will have made star stitches before and are possibly used to making half double crochet instead of single crochet into the eyes okay we've elected with the single crochet for ours so that it's not too bulky but you know I'm not going to dictate terms I think that the single crochet does create a really nice light top to the star stitch and then it doesn't distract from the beautiful spikes of the star all right I'm going to leave it with you please feel free to rewind and uh, hopefully you can get there next up after that we're going to put ATM on as per normal and then we'll reconvene for part 9 bye for now